क्षमान नगरी तुल्य निजातर्गत पश्यन्नात्म मयया बहिर्बोदूत यथा निद्रया यक्षात्ते प्रबोध समये स्वात्मा तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमहिद श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त बीजस्यांतरिवाकुरो जगदीद प्राकल्पम पुनः माया कल्पित देश काल कलना वैचिचित्रीत मयावीव विजृंभयी महायोगी वयस्वेच्छया तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमहिद श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमहिद श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त ओ सहन सहनो भुनक्त सह वीयंकवाह तेजस्वीनाधीतमस्तुमाषावह ओ शाशाशा सदाशिवसरंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमां अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ अकृतौ प्रत्यवायत अन्यथाकर्ण विपर्यासनमूविंग दिस obstacles we call it as a viprit bhavana or adhyasa we can say also and which is to be removed well uh, uh, you know and then we will get the gnana phalam so in this context vidyarna talks about well difference between upasana and nididhyasana because uh, why upasana has to be talked because one thing one aspect is common between the two and that is a mental focusing in nididhyasanam also it's a mental focusing on brahman nirgunam brahman self in upasana also mental focusing on saguna brahma ishvara and therefore well he since now he is talking about obstacles and to remove obstacles nididhyasanam is required so that's a topic then he remembers that let me compare with the upasana also and let me show the difference here so even though both are uh, one and the same in the certain aspect there is a difference so upasana is practice to get punya and it is adrishta because ishwar dhyanam ishwar is a karma phala data and therefore definitely the person uh, he wants a certain punya he wants a grace of ishwar so it is uh, adrishta so upasana is meant for adrishta drishta prayojanam japa etc murti dhyanam or japa dhyanam etc so that will be that is meant for adrishtam and uh, well vedic rituals etc also are meant for adrishta prayojanam so vidyarnya says whenever we do anything for adrishtam well rules have to be followed that's a criteria without uh, i mean question rules have to be followed then i want to follow the rules first give me reason why should i follow the rules etc well there is no reason i mean it has been told by the shastra so without questioning you follow the rules because you want to get adrishtam said so adr how adrishtam is generated itself is not known the, to the person so then why to ask about all this uh, why should i follow the rule etc you need not anyway so um, i mean certain in in ahuti certain grain is prescribed why certain grain instead of um, that can i take this grain or not for offering in the in the in the ritual fire ritual no there is only grain you have to use like that so it is uh, i mean so no scientific reason i mean people always try to find some scientific reason in a veda which should not be done actually that's a lowering the status of a um, 
lowering the status of a Veda. Because when you come to science, definitely it is a Paurushya Pramana. Available, the scientific, I mean the science is well, is, uh, I mean the discovered by actually people, I mean the scientist. So it is within the realm of a human perception and reasoning etc etc. Veda talks about something which is beyond the human means of knowledge and therefore it is lowering the status if you compare. Veda is scientific. I have seen one article. Veda is scientific and that fellow tries to you know um, squeeze the whole principles of the Veda in the in the you know in the mold of science which should not be done actually. That is not fair. Veda, Veda is not a scientific, Veda is not unscientific. That's all. That's all it is. Veda is not unscientific means well basically and uh, uh, because it has a certain reason but that reason is actually is not available for the human being to perceive. So Veda, that's how for Veda we always say vachanat pravritti hi vachanat nivritti hi. Veda has a vachanam, some vidhi etc or whatever which says uh, should be done like this, pravritti, you have to do like that. Vachanat nivritti, Veda says you should not do this, well should not be done, no question. In the tradition they always, uh, they don't probe into scientific reason which is just based on shraddha, just based on shraddha, that's all. That's how in Shraddha we have included Shastra, Shraddha also. Ishwara Shraddha, Shastra Shraddha, Guru Shraddha, etc. So in Shastra, whatever is there, I have a Shraddha. Just, I go by Shraddha. No, not by reason. Not by reason. If Veda asks me to do something, well, there must be a reason. But what is the reason is, well, I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't have means to know. That's it. Well, Veda talks about something, well, um, you know, means I, um, and there is a reason for that. Veda says, because if Veda prescribes a certain thing, because Veda knows, and Ishwara knows, basically, that how this thing which you are going to perform, fire ritual, etc., how it is going to give ultimately the desired result, etc., that's a whole link, definitely there is a link, and therefore there is a reason. But that reason is not beyond our reason. That's all it is. So I don't know why why something is offered here and after a few years I get a child. How? <laughs> I just don't know. I do something here and the rain comes. How? I don't see any connection. You don't see any connection. It does not mean there is no connection. So I don't want to know. I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't have means to know. That's it. And therefore, well, ultimately, so this is how, that is how Deva Tarpanam, Rishi Tarpanam, Pitru Tarpanam, etc. Well, um, they, Tarpanam, you know, it's offering, water, etc. And so they say, well, for Deva Tarpanam, you should offer from the front part of this uh, hand. For a Pitru Tarpanam, uh, from the side of the hand. And for Rishi, well, you have, I mean, between the two, parts, you know, there is a, a here, water you have to keep it between two parts and you have to offer. Why? Why? I want to offer uh, uh, to Rishi from the front part of this. Let Veda say what is it. Then you won't get <laughs> the desire or you may get a counter uh, product. It becomes counterproductive. I mean, this is how it is. The people try to somehow, they, they squeeze and they find uh, uh, they try to find that, well, Veda talks about this because this is the reason. Veda talks about, Veda's subject matter is beyond human reasoning. There is a reason. That's how you get a desired result. Veda says this is, there is a connection and everything. It is beyond human reason. Veda has a reason to talk to you. It is not a futile exercise on the part of Veda to say something. There is a reason. But it is beyond human reason. That's it. I just go by Shraddha. That's how it is. Anyway, and uh, so this is if, 
So if person asks about a logical reason etc, well, uh, why it should be offered from the middle part and this and that, well, um, we can't answer. So, and Veda does not compel the people also. So if you have a Shraddha, do it or leave it, leave it, don't worry about it. Veda has nothing to, act, uh, act, no axe to grind, Veda has no axe to grind. It's purely for the human benefit. From the, from the first page to the end of the Veda, the last page of the Veda, it just talks about a human benefit. It talks about all goals which human being wants. So it is in your uh, interest. Veda has no X to grind. If that Shraddha is there, then definitely well, one goes without uh, keeping the Shraddha intact. He follows. So anyway, uh, so Vidya, uh, I mean Vidyaranya also says here, right, in verse, verse 116, Japa Dhyanam, etc. He talks about it and he says, well, Niyamena Japam Kuryat. Hmm. Niyamena Japam Kuryat. For Japa Upasana, etc. I mean it should be done with the certain rules, whatever the rules are there. Mantras are chanted properly. If they say chant three times, well, chant three times. Don't chant one time. Now, don't chant eight times. <laughs> Just chant three times. So, they expected a, that the punyam will definitely come. I mean, they are in a frightened us, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, anyatha krutav pratyavayata. And therefore, if you don't do it properly, well, it becomes a counterproductive. Anyatha karane. Means if you do it, uh, in any other manner other than prescribed by the Shastra. If you do it, you are inviting problems. That's what it is. And also he said, Swaravarna Viparjaya. So, well, mantras are there definitely while doing any kind of a ritual, etc. So then, Swara and Varna has to be taken care of. Yeah, one should know Sanskrit. So, Varna should be Chant, uh, I mean, the word should be properly pronounced. So, uh, we should not pronounce it wrongly. And Swara Viparaya, Swara Varna Viparaya. Varna Viparaya means this letters, means words. And also Swara Viparaya. Veda has a Swara, high intonation, low intonation, middle intonation. So, that has to be um, chanted accordingly. With the Swara should be proper. And if you, if you don't follow that, anarsaha bhavet, well, negative result will come. Swaravarna viparya. Viparya means you, well, there will be a mistake in terms of varna or intonations. Or, well, it is uh, japa should be done with a niyama. And if you don't do that, anarsaha bhavet, negative result will come. And so we get disturbed. When we hear this, we get disturbed. So, Actually, we don't know Sanskrit. Many people don't know Sanskrit. And um, so that's how people read even Vishnu Sarasanama in a, in a script, Gujarati script, Tamil script. They, write, they read in that. Because the Sanskrit uh, script itself, they don't know. Devanagari script, they don't know. And that is available. Vishnu Sarasanama, the whole Vishnu Sarasanama available with, a, with a, this Gujarati script and Tamil script and all. So people, people are happy with that. We don't want to. So, we don't know Swaras also. Swamiji, I don't mind. I, I chant. You you start. I will I will follow. And then they, Sri Suktam and Durga Suktam and Medha Suktam, without seeing anything, just loudly. And you know, they, they chant. So, no, nothing. I mean, they don't worry about let what Veda wants to do, what Ishwara wants to do, let him do. But we will chant. And if we won't chant, we call priest for, you know, for especially performing rituals. And then, then priest also is of another, is another headache. For wedding, he chants Shraddha Mantra. And, well, and sometimes, and, and sometimes, a sannyasi comes, you say, yeah, our Swamiji is coming for Bhiksha. And we don't know how, how to uh, welcome him. We, so, you, you call, he, then, so you call a priest and you say that you chant a mantra. And then uh, definitely he should chant na karmana na prajaya dhani na tyage ni ke amrutatva manushu parayana tam nihi tam guhaya etc etc. That is fine. 
so he, that is to be done because he has he has given up karma he doesn't have a progeny na karmana na prajaya na dhane na dhanam also has been given up so tyagena just by tyaga he ek some of the some of the sanyasi some of the gnanis well they have gained moksha amrutattvam anashu anashire so they have gained this moksha like that you definitely that's how well you welcome because he has given up progeny he has given up the children i mean he has given up the dhanam he has given up uh, karma everything that's fine but then same same mantra if you chant at the vivaha that's horrible when vivaha is done na karmana na prajaya because something is to be chanted in sanskrutam priest knows this that if we want our position om sahana bhavatu sahana bhunaktu sahana uh, what is this that's a mantra to be chanted at the time of of a, of a, of a teaching etc in a class and uh, so there they chant na karmana na prajaya he knows this mantra whether it is vivaha or whether it is a sanyasi is arrival chant this is a horrible thing and when sanyasi comes they they chant also like this प्रजा च स्वाध्याय प्रवचने प्रजन स्वाध्याय प्रवचने प्रजाति स्वाध्याय प्रवचने वेल है वेल वेल वेलकमिंग सन्यासी यू से वेल यू शुड हैव ए चिल्ड्रन एंड यू शुड हैव ए ग्रांड चिल्ड्रन एंड ऑल दैट इफ वॉट इज समथिंग इज टू बी डन एंड इफ यू चैंट लाइक दैट एट एनी मोमेंट पीपल विल बी यू नो will will be um, I mean, spell wow. what a what a what how many mantras he knows he knows only this but he, people will feel he knows so much so every time then they will call him this priest anyway so we get a big risk <laughs> so why uh, that's how swami ji that is what i am saying you and i was telling you before also that is why i don't want to do any puja any ritual anything because if you do and such thing mistakes will be there even if priest comes mistake will be there or if i chant mistakes will be there and inviting problem instead not do anything you think you can you can you know manipulate veda veda is very smart mm very smart and therefore veda has in the beginning of the creation itself well the uh, this i mean ishwara has thought over this and therefore in beginning of the creation itself shastra says all karmas are of two types some of the karmas like this puja japa etc are nitya naimittika karmas and they are compulsory over no option prescribed as compulsory and with regard to well uh, this kamya karmas well some other variety that is prayashchit karma kamya karma etc <clears throat> well if you don't do properly you may get counter result you will not get a desired result could you follow what i am saying so puja japa etc they have made compulsory so you will not argue later that if i do and uh, well definitely if i could not do properly and then it will uh, then i acquire this pratyavaya papam etc instead i don't therefore i don't want to do veda says you have to do compulsorily in the beginning of the creation itself when the veda emerged at that time itself it has been told by ishwara in the veda itself that this karmas should be done compulsorily and uh, karma karma etc well you want a desired result for that you are doing a certain ritual or whatever so that if you don't do properly you will get a counter it becomes counter productive will not get a uh, desired result etc that's how this kumbhakarna he pan he did a penance and he asked brahma ji that you know he wanted nirdevatva so nirdevatva vrunita instead he could not chant properly he said nidravatvam vrunita and he get, he got it devas bhagwan said brahma ji said tathastu nidravatvam vrunita well fine he, he ended up in for a sleep, uh, in a sleep for 6 months all together so definitely 
so basically compulsory karmas you do and avoid kaam karma prayashchit karma etc so nitya nimitta karmas etc like shraddham how can you say shraddham is compulsory i have already talked to you in pancham panchamahayagnas but panchma yagnas have been talked to in veda yeah, that has been in veda i have already to- told you that the aranyaka it is there this panchma yagnas we will keep all our things together i mean intact i know you will argue lot but so nitya nimitta karmas panchma yagnas to be done in pitru yagna shraddha is there dev yagna japa puja etc is there in pitru yagna shraddha is there in brahma yagna rishis i mean um, ऋषि ब्रह्मयज्ञ और ऋषि यज्ञ एक्सेट्रा दैट शास्त्र पूजा एक्सेट्रा और चैंटिंग सटन मंत्र आज एक्सेट्रा एंड नृ यज्ञ इज देयर भूत यज्ञ इज देयर ऑल पंच महायज्ञ आर कंपलसरी दैट्स हाउ इन शादम इज कंपलसरी इफ यू ड्रॉप देयर विल बी पाप सो इन ए सटन तिथि एक्सेट्रा इन अ पुण्य तिथि ऑफ और और इन अ सटन पर्टिकुलर डे well instead of doing shardham etc well you said i will offer it uh, you know food to orphan children well it won't work it won't work most of the people are doing our own people are doing right now they they say we don't want to call this priest and do this shardha or certain tarpana etc we will instead will uh, you know same money will uh, i mean we utilize it for offering food etc to orphan children to you know the certain challenged mentally challenged children etc that won't work all panch mahayagnas are compulsory i have talked to you before also no option there is no option in this out of five two or instead of one the other no just here as your body needs uh, all types of thing you, your body needs carbs carbs they say carbs okay your body needs carbs your body needs proteins your body needs minerals ha huh? you do you have any option in that okay only carbs now no you 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 need a balanced food same way here also when you offer it to ishwara well in terms of in this whole creation is ishwara and you offer in terms of this panch mahayagna yagna means offering so you all aspects i mean in different aspects of ishwara well you offer in form of a devatas ishwara is there in form of pitrus in form of a shastra and rishis in form of a another human being in form of a another living beings you offer so there is no option instead of this i will do that no that's not correct and well so when if you do it wrongly well etc you avoid it since it is compulsory any compulsory rule if you violate you will be punished it may be a traffic rule or it may be the rule of the shastra traffic rule is compulsory not in the advantage of a government yeah no they want some money from the you know 200 dollars 300 dollars they get and they so because they don't have money they are beggars and therefore well let us impose some rule and the people will people will definitely violate it and will get some uh, you know uh, money through the through danda etc punishment no they don't want it's in your benefit traffic rule is made compulsory in your benefit not in the benefit of government shastra has made rules compulsory not in the benefit of shastra or ishvara it's in your benefit therefore these violations these options and etc is will not be good we will be punished that's called pratyavaya count productive this is how it is anyway so well it says here akrutau uh, pratyavayata vidyarnya says if you do, do it wrongly if you don't do it uh, well it, it it will be counter productive so what to do shastra says well you have to do it and do it properly and there are people uh, then there is a next argument there are people like uh, you know priest etc well they they know how to do it they chant also properly with intonations proper intonations and proper swaras and i mean proper varnas etc because they know sanskritam and so they they do it uh, everything properly well still 
um, mistakes will be there. Still mistakes will be there. Some, something, you know, some laps will be there, definitely. Even if you do a puja, some laps will be there. Any punya karma will even invite power. Believe me. How can, how can you say say? How can you say like? Lastly, you do that Kshama Prathana, right? In Kshama Prathana, we say, well, I have done that and whatever Papam I have, I mean, by mistake, well, Anyathava Sharanam Nasti, Tameva Sharanam Mama, etc., etc., a lot of things are there, in which we, we, we ask for the forgiveness because of that, uh, you know, some kind of a mistake we do during the ritual, during Puja, etc. Some mistake will be there, whether you do or a priest do. And therefore, well, then it, become, it, it becomes a counterproductive. Or if I may not get a desired you know, result in total. I may get a little less. Then, then, then what's your answer, O Swami? What's your answer? So the intelligent way is don't ask for anything after, for, after doing karma. Don't ask. Ah, that's how Nitya Nimitya karmas are based. With Sattvic karmas, Nishka karma. If a karma karma is there and then definitely mistakes will be there, you will, it will become a counterproductive. You may get a desired result but in a less con, uh, quantity or less portion or you may not get etc. If that is the problem, intelligent way of living is do nishkam karma. That's all. That's it. That's how ultimately for Chitta Shuddhi you do. But I have so many desires to fulfill. Any desire you fulfill, you, you will have a sense of fullness, right? What else is there? What else is there? Huh? But I want a sense of fullness. You don't need sense of fullness. You are fullness. That's it. You are fullness. Better do for Chitta Shuddhi and gain the knowledge that I am fullness. That's better. Rather than, you know, fulfilling small, small desires and feeling a little, a sense of acceptance. When you get a, a desired result, there is a sense of acceptance. Yeah. Sense of success. Sense of fullness. That's everything is same. Better give it up. Ah. Then uh, we, if I don't have any kamna, then uh, and if I do this nitya nimitti karmas, etc. Oh, then nothing to worry. Nothing to worry, even if there, if there is a, some lapse or mistake in that. Nothing to worry. That's, you have done it for the sense of offering. And therefore, that will not be counterproductive. But you should do it, Nitya Nemitya Karmas, and definitely uh, they are compulsory. If you don't do, you inquire, you acquire a papam, pratyavaya, and, well, and don't have even a a, you know, a desire of punyam etc. through Nitya Nimitya Karma. It is a Nishkam Karma. In fact, Nitya Nimitya Karmas are Nishkam Karmas only. But people do. Even people do Sandhya Vandhanam, well, they, they expect certain punyam etc. So, just for Chitta Shuddhi you do. <coughs> Don't ask for any other thing. So, at the end of all the Japas and Pujas or something, that's how in all our Pujas, they lastly, they chant Karacharana Kutamba, Kayajam Karmajamba, Shravadam 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 Nayana Shravadam Nayana Jamba, Manasamba Pradam, Vitama Vitamba, Sarvamita Kshamasva, Jaya Jaya Karunam, De Shri Mahadeva Shamba. And therefore, well, God forgives. If you chant this at the end, even if you have done, you know, some chanting mistakes and something, or in, in a procedure, in a, uh, in a puja, you have done some mistake, well, God forgives. Like, you know, the child says something. Child, child cannot speak properly. If child says something, you know, but nobody understands even that, what, what he is speaking. Mom says, well, he wants this or he wants that. So, they forgive the child, right? The child is asking something. Give me something, something. I like it, but then, so still, something. Well, what something? Anyway, so but whatever you chant, the parents forgive or others also forgive. Same way Bhagavan knows. Well, definitely. So Nitya Japa, Shadha Puja, etc. Anything. If you do it properly, then two things are there. Well, first is you should have a sankalpa for Chitta Shuddhi. 
चित्तशुद्ध्यर्थम अहम इदम करिष्ये दिस इज अ संकल्प आई शुड डू इन ए पूजा इन ए जप चित्त शुद्ध अंतकरण शुद्ध्यर्थम ब्रह्म विद्या प्राप्त्यर्थम अहम इदम करिष्ये दैट्स डू दैट दैट्स अ फर्स्ट थिंग एंड देन लास्टली आफ्टर डूइंग होल थिंग चैट कर चरण कृतम वा कायजम का कर्मजम वा श्रवणनयन जम वा एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा मानसम वा अपराधम मानसम वा अपराधम एनी कैंड ऑफ ए अपराधा विच आई हैव डन मिस्टेक आई हैव डन मे यू फॉर गिव सो दैट इज सो एनी अदर इक्वेल एंड मंत्र वी हैज से दिस कर चरण कृतम वा बट इन ए क्षमा प्रार्थना इन वर देव पूजन ऑल्सो यू विल फाइंड सम ऑफ द मंत्र आज आर सम ऑफ द श्लोक आज आर देर वर्स इज आर देर सो वेल एडवांटेज इज दिस दैट इवन इफ ए रॉन्ग कर्मा वेल इज इन नित्य निमित्तिक कर्मा इवन इफ इट इज अ रॉन्ग इट विल नॉट बी ए काउंटर प्रोडक्टिव सो इवन इफ इफ इन इन शादा प्रिस प्रिस चैंस विवाह मंत्र नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल ओके फाइनल प्रेयर इज दिस अल्टिमेटली ब्रह्मापण ब्रह्म हवि ब्रह्मो ब्रह्मण होता ब्रह्म तेन गंतव्य सर्वकर्म सर्वकर्म That's it. So everything is Brahma Namastu. That's how they always lastly in puja last thing. Om Tat Sat Brahma Namastu or Om Tat Sat Krishna Namastu. Om Tat Sat Rama Namastu. Over. That's it. We are going to commit a mistake. Definitely, we are going to commit a mistake. I mean, inadvertently, we will do some mistake in procedure in chanting. etc and therefore this is to be this is fine so that your karma will not be counterproductive first is chitta shuddhi sankalpa before karma and at the end of the karma chant this so this is called a corrective process if they call it as a sadgunya sampadanam sadgunya sampadanam is like bringing about a rectification and and uh, but you are talking from where because since we are listening to you you can say anything you are saying from where from where what is your reference in that bhagwan said at two places in bhagavad gita this corrective process first is you know in in the chapter 2 itself neha vikramana shosti pratyavayo na vidyate hmm clearly he said neha na hi iha vikramahan नाश अभिक्रमस्य नाशः नास्ति प्रत्यवायो न विद्यते वन वन डज दिस कर्मयोगा एक्सेट्रा ही टॉक्स अबाउट इन एज अ कर्मयोगा डेफिनेटली इट इज ऑफरिंग यू डोंट वांट कर्मयोगा मीन्स इट इज नॉट अ सकाम कर्म इट्स निष्काम कर्म भगवान सेज प्रत्यवायो न विद्यते दर विल नॉट बी एनी प्रत्यवाय इट विल नॉट बी काउंटर प्रोडक्ट यूवन इफ देर इज अ मिस्टेक एंड सेकेंड प्लेस ऑल्सो ही सेड इट इन सेवेंटीन चैप्टर ओम तत्सति निर्देश ब्रह्मणस्त्रिविधस्मृत ब्राह्मण तेन वेदाश यज्ञाश विहिता पुरा भगवान सेट दैट वेल एट द एंड ऑफ द रिचुअल ऑलवेज चैंट ओम तत्सत ब्रह्मापणमस्त ओम तत्सति निर्देश ब्रह्मणस्त्रिविधस्मृत एक्सेट्रा सो वेल सो टेक ए वाटर डू द कर्मा जप और पूजा और एनीथिंग यज्ञ वॉट एवर and uh, take a water and uh, you know offer at the feet of the lord or offer at the feet of the altar <coughs> so then any amount of mistake well it doesn't matter so if any one of you get um, frightened um, after our previous class well need not be afraid make karma for chitta shuddhi ultimately we want to prove the intelligent way of living is doing karma as a karma yoga that's all for chitta shuddhi that's all in any other way you invite problem and thereby we will compel you to do karma yoga with reason any karma kaam mein karma prayash even after doing prayash chitta there is a prayash there are so many prayash chitta for the, the greatest prayash chitta is a rudra any kind of a papa person has done if one does rudra abhishekam and if he chants rudra he becomes free greatest prayash then you may feel that i might have done a lot of mistakes in my life 
and therefore let me do rudram and you do rudram and the prashita ishwara takes care but you keep doing mistakes and so you keep doing prashita there is no end so intelligent way of living is give up the kama it's a intelligent way of living because you are you are standing you are talking you are living you are it's just because ishwara is working day and night in form of a sun in the form of a wave rain in form of everything in form of the devatas in form of pitrus in form of a rishis in form of a human other human beings in form of other living beings all are working for your benefit so at least have a sense to reciprocate that's a yagna that's a yagna that's a intelligent way of living and therefore well the other advantage is once you do not have any kama you need not follow any rules you need not follow any rules matlab you need not follow rules means well so that puja whatever we i will i will i will lie down and do puja i said there's another issue oh we are not saying sorry i know but i am i am making you scapegoats for that for answering nobody does but even if you do with a stipulated manner and the mistake occurs well you are free pratyavaya na vidyate with respect to karma yoga with respect to an offering in karma not for the sake of gaining some benefit for my sake not sakama karma nishkam karma which is an offering satvik karma well it will automatically bring sattva they are satvik karma satvik karma means will and hence sattva that's how they are satvik karma sakam karma will definitely increase your rajoguna more you get result more you experience enjoy then more the desire greed everything anyone becomes obstacle in uh, gaining uh, that desire result then becomes he becomes i mean he becomes an object for my anger everything will come I mean, rajoguna tamoguna will increase and you it becomes counterproductive if you cannot do properly you may not get desire result all issues are there thinking all these things most intelligent way of living is nishkama karma have a offering in your life have a attitude of yagna in your life so and uh, well so this is i mean now do the karma for chitta shuddhi and offer to the lord at the end so they have a that sankalpa and at the end offer tat sat brahma arpana vastu etc om tat sat um, see om also is a name of ishwara tat also is a ishwara definitely you know very well tat means ishwara tat means which is paroksha shastra uses word tat for ishwara always tatvamasi that ishwara is you like that so ultimately but anyway so tat means ishwara which is not available as a pratyaksha not available for senses so we say ap uh, tat aprameya you can say and sat om tat sat sat is a ishwara's name all the three ishwara's name therefore that mantra is very powerful but one says that significance of that mantra om tat sat in the 17th chapter in the last few five verses om tat sat idi nirdeshah ब्रह्मण त्रिविध स्मृत एक्सेट्रा ब्रह्मा जी चेंटेड बिफोर द क्रिएशन दिस ओम तत्सत एंड देन ही क्रिएटेड एंड देर फॉर दिस क्रिएशन इज अ इज अ वंडरफुल थिंग इट्स अ वेरी मंगलम द होल क्रिएशन इज अ मंगलम एंड देर फॉर यू ऑल्सो डू एनी कर्मा बाय चेंटिंग दिस और एट द एंड ऑफ द कर्मा चेंट दिस ओम तत्सत ब्रह्मा अर्पण सम चेंट तत् सम चेंट सत् सम चेंट ओम some chant om tat sat etc anything is okay anyway so this kind of a problem well the stipulation etc does not exist in case of a in case of a um nididhyasanam because it is meant for drishta phalam we don't want any punya etc so so i i mean uh, so i mean this we want to change our mental orientation we want to experience the benefit of this knowledge etc which is drishtam anyway so definitely um, nididhyasanam is meant for drishtaphalam and not for adrishtam punyam we need not follow the rules
difference. In Upasana it is different. So Vidyarinya differentiates Nidityasana from Upasana. So now in 117 he talks about Nidityasana. In 116 he talks about Upasana. Niyamena, Chapam, Kuryat etc. You see there. Otherwise Pratyavaya will be there. Akrutav Pratyavaya etc. etc. So now he talks about Niridhyasana in 117 by which he will show the difference between the two. So Niridhyasana, uh, let's read the first uh, verse. Kshudheva drishta badha krit viparita cha bhavana jaya kena pyupayena nastyatra nushthite kramaha So, Nididhyasana is clarified in all these shlokas. I mean, he says this here. Viparita bhavana, dehatma bhavana, adhyasa, etc. causes this mental disturbance. Drashta bhadha, krut. So, this viparita bhavana, drashta bhadha, krut. So, basically, this viparita bhavana is, cre- is creating a problem. Bhadha means a obstacles. Drashta, which is which you experience. Because, it, because of adhyasa, there is ahankara. Ahankara is born of adhyasa. Adhyasa of anatma, anatma. Or atma is taken as anatma, that is adhyasa. That, that generates ahankara. A sense of individuality, jivatva. And uh, well, ahankara comes, problem comes. All problems come. When ahankara resolves, problem resolves. Jagrat sapna, problems. Ankara is alive. Ankara resolves. Sushupti, no problem. And therefore, Ankara is because of this Viparita Bhavana, Adhyasa. Anatma is superimposed upon Atma. Atma is not superimposed upon Anatma. Never say that. Atma is superimposed upon Anatma. What is superimposed is Mithya. Therefore, Atma is superimposed upon Anatma means Atma is Mithya. What is this? Atma is taken as Anatma. That's called samsarga adhyasa. And anatma is superimposed upon atma, definitely. Snake is superimposed upon rope, right? Our rope is taken as a snake, we say. Rope is superimposed upon snake. Kya baat hai? Rope is taken as a snake. That's how it is. And therefore, so basically, drishtabhadha krut, it will cause mental disturbance which you experience Means Nididhyasanam will remove this Viparita Bhavana and so you will become free from all the problems. That also is visible for you, experienceable by you. Therefore, Nididhyasanam is purely meant for Drashtafalam, not Adrashta. So, anyway, so Hankara Mamakara will be there. Then suppose Viparita Bhavana is there. Then, well, definitely familiar Vimana. Then, well, all the worries and all kinds of things will be there. It disturbs the mind and therefore it's a drashta problem, directly experience, drashta bhadha, it has been told that's how. And he gives example, kshudha eva. Since uh, kshudha, the hunger, is also a drashta problem, I mean it's a problem which you experience. So removal of the problem well comes under drashtam. So you take food and that problem goes away. That is also experienced by you, right? You say also, now my, I have my hunger is appeased. I am full. So, so therefore, Viparita Bhavana, Adhyasa, and by that uh, Ahankara, and by that all the issues, worries, and everything, all is drashtam, all is experienced by you. The solution to remove Viparita Bhavana, Adhyasa, Ahankara, Mamakara, to remove that also will be drashtam. Therefore, Nididhyasana is purely for Drishta. Follow. So, no, and therefore, well, um, and therefore, we don't have any Shastric rules. Well, for even this hunger, etc. Some people, they lie down in the bed and they eat. They keep two box, you know, dibbas on both the sides. So, if they turn on this side, they will eat something. And then night, and, do, and they turn on the other side, well, they, again, they have some dibba there. So, they eat. So, no no problem. If you have that issue of, I mean, removing just hunger, etc. Before bath also most of the people take. They just get up in the morning and they, they sit in that, uh, you know, 
the chair in a dining table, table chair, chair they sit and have a cup of tea and they eat also and then they go for bath. No rule, no problem. Kenapi upaya na jaya. So if that is the issue, I mean a finite, I mean it's an experienceable result etc. Well, you can do any upaya, that's okay because no niyama is required. Same way here, we pay the bhavana well here also, drashtabhada krut. And therefore, kenapi upaya in a jaya, we have to master that my mental problems, we pray the bhavana, we have to control them, we have to manage them, we have to make them insignificant, etc. So, you can practice niridhyasanam for that. No, two types of niridhyasanam we have also discussed. I don't know, somehow in most of the classes nowadays, niridhyasanam topic is there. I don't know why. In Gujarat, the class also is going on right now, in 17th chapter. 18th chapter, I'm sorry. So, Nidhyasanam of two types, well, we have already talked to you, Samadhi Abhyasa and, and uh, even Brahma Abhyasa. And here, he, he is talking about Brahma Abhyasa, where from in verse number 106, Tat Chintanam, Tat Kathanam, Anyonyam, Tat Prabodhanam, Etadeka Parathvancha Brahma Abhyasam Vidur Buddha. So, this is a Yoga Vasishtha Shloka. So, repeated shravanam, teaching, writing, discussing, whatever suits you. Kenapi upayana. Acharya says, Kenapi upayana. No, I don't want to, I don't want anybody's presence in, in my room. Okay, then keep listening. No, but Aswamiji, I, I, I don't like listening. I, when I, I like always to share and discuss. No. Okay, then invite somebody. I have already told you, catch hold of someone and tell. He is not interested, then, well, you, you made him interested. Uh, and anyway, so this is Kenapi Upayana. Anyway, you, you uh, do that. In this indicates one thing. The people who are saying, well, after gaining knowledge, one should go to Nirvikalpaka Samadhi and you should resolve all the Vikalpas. Dvaita should be resolved in a samadhi, an experience of Advaita Atma should be there. That is the practice one should do. Here he has told Tat Chintanam Tat Kathanam Anyonyam Tat Prabodhanam Etadeka Paratvam Brahma Abhyasam Nowhere samadhi has been mentioned. Nowhere. Okay? And therefore samadhi is not a compulsory thing. This shloka itself Yoga Vasishta Shloka, which he is quoting here in 106, clearly says this Brahma Vyasa is enough to gain Nishta. Nowhere Samadhi has been told. Mind should dwell upon the teaching that should be the objective, not Samadhi. Mind should dwell upon the teaching in a quality, I mean, in, 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 whenever you have a quality time, or make a quality time in which your mind dwells upon the teaching. That is essential for Nishtha, not Samadhi. Anyway, so Atra in this regard, Miss Niridhyasana Vishaye, with regards to this Niridhyasana, Anushthitehe Kramaha Nasthi. For practicing Niridhyasana, Anushthitehe, Anushthanam practice, Anushthitehe Kramaha. So for practicing, this Nidhyasanam, Kramaha, no order, no Niyama, no rule is there because Drashta Phalam. Drashta Prayojanam, you have an issue which is Drashtam and solution also is Drashtam. That's Jnana Phalam, that's what Jivan Mukti is. We are not really speaking, we are not interested in this Vidhe Mukti, frankly speaking. What will be there? Some people have a worry. What will happen to this jiva after, after this death? They are, they are learning Vedanta. And they, they say that what will happen to Sukshma Sharira? They have literally worry about that. If what is Mithya? What is going to happen? Why do you worry about? What is going to happen to Sukshma Sharira is equally Mithya. But still they have an issue. Anyway, so best thing is there is no rule for to practice this, or uh, uh, practicing Nidhyasana. Verse 118. 
उपाय पूर्व में भोक्त तच्चिता कथनादिकेतदेकपरत्वेपी निर्बंधो ध्यान मही वेल ही सेज आई हैव टॉक टू यू अबाउट दिस ब्रह्माभ्यास इन विद्यास नम इन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स वर्ष हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स पूर्वमेव मीन्स पूर्वमेव इज बिफोर मीन्स बिफोर वी आर राइट नम इन हंड्रेड एंड एटी सो पूर्वमेव बिफोर वी इट सेल्फ उपाय उक्ता दिस निधिध्यासन मेथड उपाय मीन्स दिस मेथड मेथड मीन्स ये निधिध्यासन इज प्रिस्क्राइब एंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ ए उपाय तिंता कथनादिक उपाय उक्ता पूर्व सो थिंकिंग ऑफ दिस तिंतन थिंकिंग ऑफ दिस वेदांतिक टीचिंग वेन यू आर ए लोन थिंक अबाउट द सेल्फ वेन यू आर विथ समन एल्स डिस्कस दिस कथन डिस्कसिंग आदि आदि पदार्थ यू नो वेरी वेल म्यूचुअली शेरिंग अन्ोन्यम तत्प्रबोधन तिंतन तत्कथन ही इज मेन्शनिंग दिस टू हि उपाय एंड उपाय मीन्स ए साधन मीन्स मीन्स फॉर गेनिंग दृष्ट फल मीन्स फॉर गेनिंग यू नो मेकिंग योर सर फ्री फ्रॉम सॉरो एक्सेट्रा फियर एंड एवरीथिंग आदि कह आदि कह मीन्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा मीन्स तिंतन तत्कथनम अन्ोन्यम प्रबोधन म्यूचुअल शेयरिंग एक्सेट्रा सो वेन टू स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दे कंबाइन एंड दे स्टडी दे मन दे गेट टूगेदर एंड स्टडी एक्सेट्रा एनी वी वॉट एवर सो एक इन ऑल दिस मेथड्स चिंतन कथनम मीन्स टीचिंग लिसनिंग यू हेव टू इंक्लूड एवरीथिंग टीचिंग लिसनिंग रीडिंग राइटिंग शेयरिंग एक्सेट्रा इन ऑल दिस मेथड्स there is a one condition eta dekha paratve bhi it should be centered ek paratva it should be centered on three components whole your teaching whole your reading whole your writing whole your listening whole your mutual sharing should be centered on these three components what atma satya I am Satya. I am non-negative by anybody in the creation. I am unique. That's first. Jagat mithya, and what I experience is mithya. Why? Because I experience. This is so simple. Whatever I experience is mithya. I am experiencing insult. Mithya. Why? Because I experience. Why? Why? What? What are you saying? Are you Are you mad or what? Since you experience, it should be real. No. Vedanta says, since you experience, it is mithya. Yeah. Since you experience, it is mithya. It is born in time, gone in time. Born, gone, mithya. Between born, gone. Well, it is changing. That's how it is born, gone. What is born? How can it go? How can it go? Because it is undergoing modification. Till the last modification is what? Gone. Ah, right? Shadvikara. Do you remember? Jayate, asti, vardate, viparimate, apakshiyate, vinashyati. Whole creation. Whole creation. जात से ही ध्रुव मृत्यु ध्रुव जन्म मृत से चैट्स ऑल भगवान से इज भगवान से इज आई कान डू एनीथिंग दिस इज माय अनदर फॉर्म मिथ्या फॉर्म इज लाइक दिस जातम मृत्यु जातम मृत्यु कॉन्स्टेंटली चेंजिंग व्हाट इज कॉन्स्टेंटली चेंजिंग इज मिथ्या व्हाट नेवर चेंजिज इज सत्यम Constantly changing means the previous form is negated. What is available for negation? Mithya. What is never available for negation is satyam. And therefore, this was all the time I experience. Therefore, it is mithya. What I experience is limited. Mithya. What I experience has attributes. Mithya. What I experience undergoes a change. Mithya. What I experience will vanish. 
not experience will vanish right now i am experiencing later i may not experience that's what it is mithya right i am the one who is ever there non negative consciousness because of which all experience takes place will be always there all experience experience of an absence and experience of presence of the world i am the one the consciousness is ever there even to negate the world right to to have an experience of absence of the world i am ever there so anyway so this is how brahma satyam or atma satyam jagat mithya Jiva Brahma even upper. So the sense of individuality is a mithya, because this ahankara also is alpa, limited. Ahankara also is vikari. See, it is it is following in the definition of mithya. Ahankara is vikari, changing definitely. Right now, pramata and then karta and then bhogta and then constantly changing. Then in Jagra, then in Sapna also, Sapna Karta, Sapna Jag, Sapna Bhogta, Sapna Pramata, different naturally, because the, what you know in the world uh, in Sapna is entirely different world, constantly changing, alpa, and also vanishes, born. When you wake up, it is born, gone, all this. Therefore, Mithya, Ahankara also is. clear because ahankara is a mind ahankara is mind what is there conscious mind is ahankara that's all there is no other entity called ahankara and that mind keeps changing well therefore ahankara keeps changing anyway so jiva i am jiva brahma ivana par i am just consciousness i am not a conscious being ahankara it's a conscious being is this conscious mind <coughs> with aham vritti when the mind becomes conscious the very first vritti arises aham vritti and then idam vritti also will arise anyway aham vritti arises because it identifies with him then subtle body further and gross body and becomes say individual and then any other thing other than that will be idam there will be dvaitam etc all means limitations will be there so atma satyam brahm jagat mithya jivah brahmaivan apara i am just conscious that's all i am brahman there is no brahman other than me there is no i other than brahman there is no brahman other than i there is no i other than brahman that's a real meaning of i that's an implied meaning of the i with a bhagavatyaga lakshana it's a lakshana where what is anatma amsha has been what is mithya has been negated ankara has both the amsha atma and anatma amsha right that's like it i am a sakshi of the mind consciousness so anyway so but you may talk about anamaya kosha etc all this topics come under vedantic meditation anamaya kosha pranamaya kosha you can take anything and, and then negate them etc ultimately you are pratishta you are brahman brahma pucham pratishta that's how brahmanand will talks about so well first and the maya kosha has been talked about and said well atma is other than an inner in this and the maya that is pranamaya then they said no 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 atma is not pranamaya atma is inner and uh, even you know other than this pranamaya and like that brahma pucham pratishta i am just consciousness i negate annamaya pranamaya manomaya vijnanamaya etc all i negate because they are they are mithya i negate because they are they have a status to be negated that's how i negate why should i negate other things in fact what you negate become looms large really large in your head yeah therefore what is what is what is fit to be negated i negate yeah what is fit to be i should negate wave why should not i negate wave well in order to understand the reality is water you should negate wave if you give a weightage reality to the wave 
I don't think you appreciate water as a reality. Hmm. So when you want to appreciate reality, definitely what is mithya has to be negative. Ahankara, well, it is a mixture, atmanatma. So negate anatma, which is which is uh, mithya. Negate mind, negate ahamruti, all negate. Just consciousness, well, which pervades the mind, which illumines the mind, which illumines even ahankara, which makes mind conscious, because of which this reflected consciousness is there in the mind and the consciousness, which is not negative, which exists even in, in uh, when ahankara you know, becomes unmanifest in a deep sleep state. <clears throat> so, either you do pancha kosha viveka, I am sorry, so Brahma Pucham Pratishtha, this is a Vedantic bottom line. So there is, you know, there used to be a bottom line, in election speech also, well, there they talk about various things, all kinds of things, but bottom line is one of every speaker in election. What? Give me vote. That's all. That's all. They, they speak so much of opposite party and of that person and everything. But bottom line is this, give me vote. Same way, whatever you basically, you know, you do, annam, this Panchakosha Viveka and, and Shariratraya Viveka, etc. Whatever you do, you do. Bottom line is, you are Brahman. Brahma Pucham Pratishta. I am Brahman. I am Brahman. I am Brahman. So, which prakriya is better? Karyakarana prakriya, Shariratraya viveka, Panchakosha viveka. What, what, is, what should I do? Anything. No niyama. Why no niyama? Drashtapalam. Okay? So, etadeka paratta. This is election also. They have etadeka paratta. They are committed to one thing. Give me vote. Give me vote. Eka paratta. Committed to one thing. Bottom line is this. Well, so nirbandaha nahi, there is, there is no overforce of the mind. Means mind is not restrained from vidyasanam. Mind is not forced too much from vidyasanam. Any kind of a model you can use, any kind of a method you can use to arrive at that we are Brahman. And uh, in that there is no much force involved. Whereas in upasana, well, which is meant for punyam, mind is restrained completely restrained, forced to focus on one type of thought. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, no other thought. Right? So, if you want a Punya Falam, etc., well, it is like this. You have to restrain. Here, no restraint. Pancha Kosha Viveka. Today, Nididhyasana, Pancha Kosha Viveka. Let us start with that. Today, Nididhyasana, Shari Ratta Viveka. Today, Nididhyasanam Karya Karana. Fine. Enjoy it. No Niyama. Nupasana, well, today Om Namah Shivaya. Tomorrow, well, uh, let, me, let me meditate on Shiva Rama of Chennai. Forget about it. You can't do that. You have to simply keep one type of thought. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. You have to meditate on the altar. Just on altar. That's how it is. Then only it will generate punya. So niyama is required. So somebody said, well, uh, upasana is like walking on a rope over Niagara Falls. And uh, Nidhyasana is walking on a highway, you know, I-40. Let's say that. Very wide road. Very nice. And that is walking on a rope over Niagara Falls. So, Upasana is a rope walking, Nirdhyasana is a road walking. That's a thing. That's how it is. Anyway, in this Upasana is tough. Because you want a drishta. You want a drishta punya. So, niyama, tough. Nirdhyasana is enjoyable. Nirbandha. Nirbandha means stress, strain. Nahi. There is no stress, no strain. Dhyanavat, as in the case of Upasana, Nirbandha is there, stress is there, strain is there, force is there, etc. is there. In Brahma Pyasana Nidhyasana, well, not even physical posture. You can lie down like this, you know, on that, on the, on the, 
caught like this and start thinking hey should i do meditation like this? yes no problem do om purna madha purna midam purna purna mudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om